Hey peoples, it's a Saturday morning, as you can see, not bad weather this morning, it'll heat up as the day goes on, there's Amanda, um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say, anyway, bike's all packed, so we are heading we were heading up onto the Murray, but we've all decided um, on Monday up there is going to be 45 degrees, and I no, nah, it's just ridiculous and too hot. So what we have decided to do is head up towards the high country, Omeo, all up around there. So I'm going with Gary Stoneham, who's from the Victorian Triumph Tigers group and Andrew Jackson, which went on the Euroa trip, and he's from our club, Ulysses Club. So we'll be back on Tuesday. So tonight we'll be our, I'll try to get in at Swift's Creek. Dodger put me onto that spot, so we'll try to get in at uh, Swift's Creek, up on the river there, get to camp there. If not, we'll just have to free camp somewhere. Um, but I'll try to get on at Swift's Creek, because there's a pub just five minutes, sec five second walk. <laughs> Um, then from there on we have no idea we'll probably go over Omeo into Bright camp around there somewhere I don't know so it's all up in the air tomorrow it's a, yeah mystery boy yeah so uh, the temperatures are well the temperatures change down here now it's going to be 33 on Monday instead of 41 so um, it'll be a little bit cooler up in the mountains hopefully but I'm not as packed up as I was when I went with Dodger. Yeah. So there you go. All right, we'll catch you out on the road. Catch up. And then uh, we're meeting Gary in Yarra Glen. Yeah. Right here, people, we're just at the servo, waiting for Andrew. He shouldn't be too long, and then we'll head off and meet Gary at Yarra Glen. So I hope you had a good trip to Yarra Glen, guys. Nice and safe. And uh, we'll see you shortly. Right, right here, people. We're on our way to Yarra Glen now. We just met Andrew at the pub. At the pub. <laughs> at the servo. So we're heading to Yarra Glen to meet up with Gary. And the trip is on. Right here, we're all here. Gaz is here on his beastie. We're all here, ready to go. Right there, people. We've just hit a nice dirt road. Oh, my fucking neck. didn't even know this existed. But I don't know where this takes us because the other road I was meant to go down looked too rocky for the other blokes with the ties. Just saw a wombat, peoples, and I forgot to bloody film it. Didn't have any bloody camera on. Bloody hell. Is it eating on the side of the road? <laughs> well, <laughs> peoples, we're lost. And Andrew nearly killed another biker with his helmet. <laughs> It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. This is a good road, peoples. Nice and windy. This road takes you down to Rawson. Well, yeah, folks, I've stopped because I don't know where the other two are. 
hope fucking nothing's happened. They'll, they'll be behind me. Right out, peoples. Everything's all good. Andrew's tank bag come off his bike. Right. right out, peoples. We're on unsealed road now. Until we get to Rawson. It's very skatey. Heaps of stones. It's not hard packed, it's just skatey as. It's a bit like riding in sand. Alrighty. Alright, yeah, peoples. We're still on this dirt road. Hey, Dodge, if you're watching this, this is this dirt road we were meant to do on the Sunday coming back. Alright, yeah, peoples. Just gotta wait for the other two. They're down there somewhere, and we go up that way. So that's the signpost there. So we head towards Rawson. Might see if we can get a spot at Rawson tonight. And, um, yeah. See if we can get something in there, I reckon. The bike's going well. So all good. Alrighty. Back shortly when the others get here. Right there, peoples. I'm going to have a look for the other two. I hope fucking nothing's up. Gary was right behind me. Well, I don't know what the hell's going on. I'll get back to you shortly. Uh, I found one. I don't know where the fucking other one is. I found Andrew, but I don't know where Gary is. Right out, peoples. We're going to start calling Andrew Evil Knievel. <laughs> Damage report. Mirror, handguards, plastics all broke, missing indicator, damaged engine guard, and he dinted through all his boxes. So they uh, they held up all right. Yeah. They held up all right, Andrew. Just underneath. Yep. Just underneath all right. So it'll be all right for the Utah data. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, catch ya. So peoples, Andrew, come off. Broke some plastics as you as you saw, and coming into a corner. So we're going to camp at Rawson. If we can get a camp at Rawson, we'll camp there. If not, we'll try Wahala. We'll holler. Right out, people. We found our camping spot, and we got it for free. We got it for free. So a big shout out to the Rawson Caravan Park. And there's the pub. So a big shout out to them. <coughs> there you go, peoples. Got the uh, camp nearly set up. It's Gary's tent. And he's got one of those little camp beds. See the price of the Helinox one? $250. There's no way known I'm spending 250 bucks on the Helinox. No. Way. No, well that's it. And this is the new tent. This one here. So we'll see how that goes. This will be going on the June trip. Just a little bit smaller, easier to put up. It's a Spinifex Conway two person. There's Evil Knievel. Oh, injury to the leg. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's a bit shy, Evil Knievel. He's a bit shy. Alrighty, we'll catch up.